Hello everybody, today we are going to take a look at, in my opinion, the best Polish gaming stock, which is Playway, at least from a perspective of dividend growth investor. Now, there are other Polish gaming companies, like for example CD Projekt Red, creators of Witcher series and Cyberpunk, which are far more recognizable, but I think Playway is a much better business that you should consider adding to your portfolio. So, in today's episode, We'll have a look at what games Playway produces and publishes, we'll try to understand its business model and why I like it so much, we'll talk about upcoming games releases and overall future prospects, we'll check their past growth and financials, check their dividend policy, we'll discuss Polish and global gaming industries in general, and finally, we'll talk about their valuation and if Playway is a buy now. By the way, as I'm just starting the channel, Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons, it really helps me out and keeps me motivated to grow the channel. Now, let's start. In general, I think that most gaming companies are not well suited for dividend-oriented portfolio. Games such as Grand Theft Auto, Assassin's Creed or Cyberpunk are very big projects and it takes years to produce another one. Often, producers do not earn much money in the meantime and can't share profit with shareholders on a regular basis. They would pay a dividend only after a game is released, and only if it's successful. There has been a plenty of examples of games with a big hype that merely, if at all, met the expectations. So, though the gaming industry is worth more than film and TV combined, it's very hard to predict whether upcoming game will be a huge success or a big failure. In fact, lately there's been a lot of voices saying that production process of the biggest titles is getting more and more expensive. And this is why I love Playway so much. They've got a brilliant business model. The company focuses on medium and low budget games, so-called AA games, which are far less cheaper to produce and still can earn a lot of money if they succeed, and if not, the losses are not that significant. And Playway has a very smart diversification strategy that improves safety of investment. Their business model is based on creating a dozen or more low-budget titles at the same time, therefore reducing the risk of any of them in case of failure. And if any of this is a massive success, then it easily covers the expenses. They use different tools such as social media, waiting list and signing list to research which games might sell well. Their business model works very well with their growth strategy, They've been growing mainly via acquisitions of small gaming studios and now own around 100 of subsidiary and internal teams distributed all across Poland. Now, let's have a look at a list of games Play produced or published. As we can see here, that's a lot. One could even say it's a real games production line. As you might have noticed, many of these are various kinds of simulators. This is a niche that Playway feels very comfortable in. I think it's a good thing that they have specialized in a specific genre of games. It makes it easier for them to see what works, what sells well, and which things players do not like, and then use this knowledge while working on future titles. Having a look at this list, we can see that most of these games have okay-ish reviews, but there are some with very high Steam score, such as Contraband Police, which was this year's hit, Car Mechanic Simulator, which I guess is their best-selling series, or House Sleeper, which is going to get a sequel soon. This is yet another great thing about Playway. Once they find a game that sells well, they reiterate on this formula, improve it, and release another one. In case of Car, Sim Car Mechanic Simulator, I believe it's already a fourth game in the series. This way they can monetize ideas for a very long period of time, and players seem to love it. These kind of games might not seem very ambitious, but surely they are players willing to play and pay for these games. Let's now move to their future releases. As we can see here, there's around 50 games they have planned or are actively working on. As I mentioned before, that's a real games production line. The closest release will be in December for a House Sleeper 2, which is probably going to do great, considering how high is the score of the first one. Now, I know I sound ultra optimistic about this company and their games, but it has proved to be a great business. And one important factor of their business is the founder, current CEO, and the major shareholder, Krzysztof Kostowski. I think he's doing a great job as a CEO, and I would only wish all of the CEOs in the different companies to be like him. He's a gaming industry veteran, he has hands-on knowledge of the industry and is very active in the community. He also communicates with other shareholders very well. He's often a guest in various YouTube investing channels and other media, 
and talks about playway, their strategy and visions, plans for future, etc. He's not afraid of answering the questions and showing the updates on the company. In fact, they give very regular updates on games playway is working on and company situation in general in the form of videos like this. You can go to investor news on playway website and we can see here that they share updates a few times a month. You can really track how they are doing and almost feel like an insider. Unfortunately, most of these updates are shared in Polish and also the English version of the Euro page has actually less information and looks not well maintained. But hey, here I am, ready to transfer all the knowledge you need to you. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will try to find the best answer I can. Alright, that's it talking about company itself. Now let's check the numbers and see how the financials look like. Regarding the share price, 5 years ago it was traded around 100 zloty and nowadays, after recent drop, it's traded for around 355. That's 355% growth in 5 years, giving us 70% a year, even without dividends included. This is extraordinary return. But we should remember that past results do not reflect future and I'd rather expect it to slow down as they mature. Let's move to their financials. We'll start with sales revenue. As we can see, they had some phenomenal growth over last years, which is unfortunately slowing down. Their year-on-year -year growth reached even triple digits in 2017 and on average it was about 55 yearly. The last data we have reports only disappointing 5.5% growth though. Will it accelerate again in future? It depends on how successful the games are, but I think they should at least be able to keep it up with moderate growth level in negative scenario. If we have a look at the bottom line, the net profit, it was basically following the sales until 2020. From this point it's been dropping. I do hope that this is temporary, but have this trend in mind in case you are interested in investing in Playway. On the positive side, they have a very good balance sheet. They have more money in cash and short-term investments than they have long-term debt and short-term debt together. And if we check some basic scoring for the Playway, we can see that they score the highest AAA rating in Altman AM score, which assesses the risk of bankruptcy and the financial condition of the company. And they get 6 out of 9 in Piotrowski F score, which indicates the problem with the recent drop of the margins which in general were quite high for the sector, but have been dropping recently. If we have a look at the operating profit margin, it's actually been growing, but there is like return of equity, return of asset, and the gross profit margin together with the net profit margin decreased quite significantly in the last quarters. They are still pretty good, but just seeing this trend is not nice. Now let's have a look at the metric that interests me most, the dividends. Playway has been paying dividends for 6 consecutive years, and each year it was growing, though the last growth was pretty insignificant, especially having in mind high Polish inflation. Anyway, the average growth is 74% per year, which is massive. Of course, I don't expect it to grow further at this pace, but even if we assume it would be one-fourth of the past pace, still it would be around 18% yearly. Regarding the year policy, Honestly, I'm not sure if it's up to date on their website, but here it says they intend to pay dividends regularly, at least 90% of net profit from previous financial year, if two conditions are met. Planned revenues from sales of games in the current years are greater than planned potential investments, and after the dividend payment, a minimum of 15 million of cash must remain in the company. I actually like the last condition, which shows they carefully manage the business. So, the policy looks good, and what's more, the CEO, which I have already mentioned, has many times stated that he is dedicated to sharing the profit with shareholders. We can have a look at some interviews. Here he says something like, I don't comment on share price, I'm here to fight for profit and then pay a dividend. This is one from a chat with investors, let's have a look at another one. Let our dividend figures speak for everything. In the past I didn't know exactly how it was that the company made a lot of money but there was nothing in the cash register. I thought to myself, I'm going to create a dividend company and the simplest system of information about how things are going in our company in our company, that is dividends. If we really pay out real money to investors every year and so far we have managed to make it bigger, it means that I'm going my own way. So summing up, the dividends been growing, the policy looks okay and the CEO is dedicating to paying that. That's a big big plus. Now let's have a quick look at gaming industry in general. The gaming market has been growing in last years and is still predicted to grow in future, with more or less 9% of revenue growth each year. 
By 2027, the amount of gamers should reach over 3 billions of people. This is huge, and I guess at some point in future, almost everybody on this planet will play in some kind of PC, console or mobile games. Zooming into Polish market, almost 500 game producers and publishers hiring over 15,000 people, which makes Poland second or third biggest game producer in Europe, at least workforce-wise. I think this is good data showing that Playway can easily hire more developers and there's a lot of space for potential acquisitions. Interestingly though, most companies plan one release per year. As I mentioned, Playway is a real production line and really exceeds average here. Also, the number of Polish studios is growing rapidly, with exception of last year when kind of crisis hit the industry. So, I hope that so far I've already convinced you that Playway is a terrific business. I hope that there's still a lot of growth ahead, even though the recent slowdowns. This is a company that I've personally owned for some time already, and I'm willing to add more shares. The only question is, is it a buy now? Let's just have a look at some valuation models. Let's start with a discounted cash flow model using the perpetuity growth formula. Here, the fair value is estimated to be around 575 zlotys, which is 60% upside from the current price. If we check the PE multiples model, here it's estimated to be around 462 zlotys, which again is much higher than the current valuation. And if we go to the dividend discount model valuation it's estimated even higher to 582 zlotys which is massive upside of 60 percent so even if we would consider the fair value to be around 400 zlotys there is still a lot of margin of safety having in mind current valuation let's also have a look at the historical price to earnings ratio and we can see that the current valuation is more or less in line with the recent quarters and also the price to book value is aligned in the recent with the recent quarters. Having all of this in mind, I think current valuation of Playway is very attractive. I plan to add more shares to my personal portfolio, and I believe this might be a great investment. This is it regarding Playway. Let me know what you think about the company, about its future prospects. Have you played any of their games? Please do not forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Remember that I am not a financial advisor nor an economist. The content is strictly educational and informational. You should do your own research and only you are responsible for your own financial choices.